Good evening, everyone. Their mission is to help wounded veterans heal, but that mission has been compromised tonight. They were robbed of thousands of dollars worth of equipment, but that's not stopping them from completing their mission. Local 12's Brad Underwood is in Loveland with the story. Brad. Well, good evening, Rob. Team River Runner has more than 50 chapter locations across the United States. The Loveland chapter is just one of two here in the state of Ohio. And as you mentioned, the mission here to create an environment of adventure and healing for veterans returning home from war. And now that mission has gotten a little harder. This is our river, man. We have like eight events here a year. Veterans like Marine Corporal Jonathan Stone call it the river to recovery, sharing stories, accomplishing new goals. Together, they find peace on the water. But heading into the spring, Team River Runner is up against it. It's sitting right here. And now it's gone, stolen. Inside the missing trailer, 14 kayaks, more than a dozen helmets and jackets, and water safety related items totaling $14,000. For Marine Corporal Stone, Team River Runner has given him the chance to meet other veterans who struggle with post traumatic stress. It made me feel confident to go back to my a uh, VA therapist and my loved ones and say, look, this is what I've actually gone through in the Marine Corps. This is what I've seen and this is what's happened to me. And it's changed my life since then. Marine Corporal Stone served in Iraq in the late 1990s and says his three years of floating down the river have helped him adjust to civilian life more than anything else he's done. It brings back those memories and it makes us feel the kind of use that we did when we joined the military and it restores that to our lives that we've missed. Next month is the annual kayak football event for Team River Runner. And at the moment, they don't have the boats to make it happen. Now, Team River Runner says that you know they put out the word to the canoeing and greater kayaking community here in the Cincinnati area about the items that were stolen in the description. You know, these aren't the kinds of things that if stolen are going to end up in your neighborhood pawn shop. There was a police report filed with the Miami Township Police Department and they are currently investigating the thefts from Team River Rescue's trailer. Reporting live tonight in Loveland, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Rob. Brad, thanks very much.